just take ingenuity for as an example this we mm -hmm. so much of success with it it was what meant to be you know three flights just about two mm -hmm. or three flights right I yeah just it was uh, minimum and one I, I, and, yeah. ideally three yeah i just look look what you guys have achieved and now yeah. there's 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 the next version in in the works in january well, now part of uh, SMSR included uh, the sample recovery or sample retrieval helicopters, um, and uh, but as of yesterday, it's officially no longer baseline. There was a uh, quote a non concur uh, with yeah. the IRB's so, findings. Um, so, so that's, that's gone. That's There's no that's, future helicopter yeah, work right that's, now. That's not, We've that's given not, it up. So we're not going to do it anymore. It's whoa. Not. What? They're yeah. dead. Like uh, NASA has. Uh, that was the best thing. That any out. active helicopter programs, uh, full stop. Well, wait, 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 what about Dragonfly? Okay, uh, that's an interesting one. Um, Dragonfly is still ongoing, it is a, a couple of multiples of its original cost cap, but um, but but no Mars helicopters, no more Mars helicopters. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. This is this is crazy. This is um. That's... I don't know what to say. This is, look, all things aside, you know, just speaking as a layman, the power of those images or the first flight on another planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a lot more powerful for me. Than yeah. The message that went out, just how inspiring it was to see yeah. that. Yeah. And re oh, remember one other thing that they did, which you would say would violate any risk profile is you took a small piece from the right flyer, right? And that yep. was mounted on there. Yep. Yep. It was inside the fuselage. I mean, that's, that's how yes. important it was, but you think about it. Yep. I mean, th that little token there, something could have gone wrong in the process or, you know, it's like it, it yep. adds a small bit yeah, of risk like, to the whole thing, but it was so significant that it was worth the risk to put that in there. You know, like in the, in the office space of the, the helicopter area that I, I work in, mm -hmm. um, under lock and key is uh the first flight log for another planet like you know we keep a mm -hmm. flight log on there it's handwritten pilot's notes um and yeah we that's uh it's it's pretty powerful to like be around that and you know when i talk to people from outside of jpl and outside the industry they know significantly more about uh mars helicopter than anything else uh that I think NASA's done since Apollo. So it's like we went to the moon oh, yeah. and then we put helicopters on. Mars. And then we like, put helicopters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And the expectation is like mess around with a shuttle somewhere in there. Yeah. But... What's, what's the next? Yeah. What's the follow up? Yeah. No, there's yeah. No, there's nothing well, right now. Um, that's uh, unbelievable. Uh, can we can uh, we crowdsource it? Crowdfund it? <laughs> um, we're. I mean, so there's a small team of us that are working on concepts and. Um, Part of that includes uh, talking to potential private partners uh, and, and trying to get a ride as a demo payload or something like that. Could certainly crowdsource it. Um, you know, uh, I think, you know, it, it's just a. I think it's I think it's the most inspirational thing we've done in a very long time and for, sure. for very little money. Um, yeah. So. We, I don't know. It's exciting to to think about not only the capabilities, but just um, making Mars more like Earth. If we knew we can, if we know we can fly there and use that as. Uh, yeah. And I also think that building GNC platforms, you know, guidance, navigation, and control platforms that are agnostic uh, to whether it's a rotorcraft or an um, impulse thruster or something like that, or is a really powerful thing because then you um, build low cost, low weight. Um, or low mass uh, pieces of hardware that you can throw on the moon with some cold gas thrusters. You can, you know, you put them literally, literally anywhere. You just change the software a little bit to, to adjust the way it controls um, and gain, etc. Um, yeah. But that's a helicopter type platform. It's something like another parallel effort that we're conceptualizing. But there's no there's no appetite for um, actual development of helicopter hardware. Uh, Do you know why? Um, not that I will say here. I, I don't know why. I I have speculations. Yeah, speculations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.